Hi, I'm Hal Evans and I'm from the King's School, Canterbury. Today I'm talking about the changing shapes of engineering. I'm going to start my talk about talking about manholes. Now manholes, they are most oft, often made circular. And they're made circular so they can't fall through the hole. Now this is because, obviously, the cover is of a larger diameter than the uh, hole in which it sits. So whatever rotation you orient, orientate the cover, it can never fall through the hole. Meanwhile, if you were to use a square manhole cover, you could pick it up, rotate it like this and this, and it would be able to fall through its hypotenuse, which is obviously longer than its side length. So, I was interested in, the, um, in this aspect of the circle, and I was thinking, are there any other shapes that have the same property of constant width? Which is why it doesn't fall through the hole. So, I'm going to start off... I'm going to start off by having inspection of two pound coins. Now, if you were to put two pound coins on a platform such as this and roll a ruler along the top, it's obvious that the two pound coin, that the ruler stays parallel to the, um, to the surface. Now, if you were to take 20 p's or 50 p's for the same idea, one might expect that the ruler were to um, bob up and down. In fact, it doesn't. Oh no. It's got to be there. Edit that. <laughs> yes, so if you put the 20 p's in and they roll, the ruler stays parallel once again. So, in my research, I discovered that the, there was a simpler shape, and this shape is this piece here. You might expect if you were to roll this board left and right that it, um, in fact, this left right hand side bobs up and down. However, in actual fact, it doesn't. And that's because this, the width of this piece is constant and so is the circle, obviously. So I have actually made two, um, two of these shapes. And as you can see, the ruler once again stays parallel to the floor even as they rotate. So you can, it's clear, obvious. That's these two shapes have a constant width. So, how do we actually make these shapes? If you take a circle of uh, any diameter and then draw another circle, take an arbitrary point on that circle and draw another circle of the same diameter, and take the intersection of the new circle and the old circle, draw another circle of the same diameter, and so on and so on, you get a pattern that looks like this, and you, you can see their shapes emerging such as this, and actually six of them on this, on this diagram. Now this is this shape. It is essentially an equilateral triangle with circular arcs drawn from this point like that, and that point like that, that point like that. And that is why it's a constant width. So considering this, um, this triangle, if you like, which is what is known as a Rouleau triangle, um, has such similar properties to a circle, one might expect you're able to make a wheel out of it. Sadly, however, this is not actually the case because, as you can see here, A to point A to the centre P is slightly longer than the point P to B. Um, however, some people have actually refused to be defeated, um, such as this man here who has made a bicycle out of um, the family of, of these shapes. Um, and it doesn't actually... If you were to, the axle actually moves up and down, so it is not the it is not held by the axle. It is, it is he is rolling essentially along the top of the frame of the bike, the um, bike, which remains parallel to the surface. What's more, there are other other engineering applications for which the the Rouleau triangle is using, such as the um, Wankel rotary engine. So you have an intake here of hydrocarbons, and as this rotates like so then the hydrocarbons here are compressed and then they are sent then as it gets round to here they're compressed and compressed and then the spark plug ignites that um, fuel and it forces this round and then the exhaust gases escape through here and it's constant, it's a constant process. You actually get three explosions per one rotation of, of this device which varies to a normal combustion engine 
whereby there are actually only one explosion per um, two evolution of the crankshaft. So, um, although unfortunately this, this, this type of engine isn't often used because um, the seal at these points is actually very difficult to make and so you have to use a lot of oil and also you get some hydrocarbons leaking through which results in exhaust gas containing hydrocarbons which um, is obviously not what you want when you're meeting energy efficiency although it is actually used in a, in a uh, Mazda car engine. There are also other applications of this, of this, of these shapes, such as you can drill a square hole with them. It might seem somewhat counterintuitive, but if you were to put a point on this and rotate it, you would actually find the trace is a square. So um, that concludes my talk on changing shapes of engineering. Thank you very much for listening.